Hi everyone, welcome to Project of Today and welcome back to my shop. Today we're gonna have a review of the Autor Laser Master 3 LE. Autor was kindly enough to send it to me for free to make a review. I haven't been paid anything to say anything special about it. Everything is my own thought. So let's jump into the review. As you probably already know, I always prefer to do something with the stuff instead of just talking about numbers and so on. So I thought what better than doing a sawmill template on the laser. Normally when I do this I use the CNC so would be interesting to see the difference. So I will use Lightburn as software. I have uh, this one connected to the Wi-Fi so I don't have any USB connection. Maybe it's better to have the USB connection directly to the computer. But here in my shop I only have one computer and that's usually hooked up to the CNC. And it would be a little bit too long cable to have it to the laser also. So for simplicity I have the laser on Wi-Fi. And so far it's been work without any hiccups. And the laser also have air assist. And I only have this hooked up to my normal air compressor, so it will kick on a little bit now and then. The laser is a 10 watt laser, cutting birch plywood with really good results up to 12 mils, so that's really impressive. The assembly of the machine was really easy. It come in one, two, three, four, five pieces, six pieces. So I think it just was about 10 screws. It took. 15 minutes to put it together before I could plug it in and run it But there is tons of video how to put it together on YouTube. So let's make this one in ash I don't have any fancy honeycomb Yet, so I use nut to put it up on Space out a couple of them So, it's really simple when you're going to focus, you have this focus arm, just pull it down and drop it. So it hits the material, then you know the laser is in focus. The only downside with this system is, when you're going to fold this up, it's easy to move the material. So, if you, you need to hold it tight. Now I use the framing in Lightburn to see that I put in the right spot. So this just run it around where it will cut. See the need to push it down a bit. I think that's perfect. Then I should hook up the air assist also. Then we can rock. Now you can hear the air blowing out. And you hear the compressor also. So let's start. Take the sand and just a quick sand with really high grid so we get rid of the small burn mark. Here is 240 grid paper, so just a quick sand. And 
som er... I think this turned out really good. Let's see if I can zoom in. I think this turned out really well. The holes here. What do you think? Write a comment down below. And yeah, it's a bit charring on the side, but there is no burn mark. Nothing on the back side either. So I'm really impressed with the quality. My conclusion of this one is it worked really good. Probably I need to tweak the settings a little bit more. I haven't run this machine for a long time, but so far it's been working great. And I'm really pleased. And the air assist makes a big difference. And if you want to disconnect the air assist and don't use it, then you just open this and remove this one. This is the nozzle for air assist, and now you can run it without. And this hose here is for air assist. If you don't use it, you can remove it. The only thing I think is a bit flimsy is the adjustment of this head. I really would love to have a knob or something to adjust up and down. Otherwise, I don't have anything to complain about. And if you want to buy a similar machine, I have a coupon code and a link in the description. Until next time, bye!